but uh, we do have a call here for an ab abandoned motor vehicle so we're gonna go check it out oh my gosh these racers again you know what let me try and get them this time get out of the car out of the car dude What is going on guys, Officer Iggy Fresh here with another LSPDFR episode. First I'd like to say thanks to all of you guys, we have just finally broke 4,000 subscribers. That is insane guys. I gotta say, I started YouTube about a year ago, actually less than a year ago, and my goal was to reach a thousand subscribers in a year, and we have smash that goal we are at 4,000 subscribers big thanks to all of you guys for liking sharing and subscribing and commenting and all of your awesome suggestions and all of your support I really 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 do appreciate it guys um, and with that I wanted to introduce uh, something new to this channel I have created this awesome Facebook group called Iggy's GTA Lounge and I created that group for all of us to uh, create this wonderful community because it's not just about me, it's about all of us guys. Um, I do want to make this into a community where all of us can just go over there and chat and share our ideas and everything like that. And I'm gonna start doing shout outs um, and pay attention to this guys. Uh, if you want a shout out, all you have to do is just post a screenshot from uh, any GTA game really, um, preferably GTA 5. But just post the screenshot from one of your in-game gameplays uh, onto the group, the Facebook group. And before every single episode, I will select the best screenshot and I will feature it on here and give you guys a shout out. Um, so the first one obviously goes to me because there's nobody in the group yet uh, But I'm hoping you guys will uh, find it on Facebook. It's again. It's called Iggy's GTA Lounge and hope you guys will join and uh, Let's make this a great community uh, Once again big thanks to all of you guys. I really really am humbled and didn't think that my channel would grow this much, but Really happy and uh, without further ado, let's begin today's episode. As you guys can tell, we are going to be doing campus police today. We are... Ooh, I hear the ring. <laughs> Alright, classes start everybody. But we're going to be patrolling USLA, which is uh, I guess a replica of UCLA. And we're going to be patrolling the campus and around the campus in this awesome golf cart gonna leave the link in the uh, description below if you guys want to download it but it's a pretty big campus and uh, hoping we can see some activity and some cool calls come through around here and uh, I'm not gonna do traffic police today just because nobody's gonna pull over for uh, our uh, golf cart here it's just not gonna happen but we are gonna patrol the uh, the premises here and oh, watch out garbage can and we'll see what uh, what we can get into today so let's begin today's episode guys oh gosh we just got a call for a hostage situation it's right around this campus here let's turn on our siren <laughs> oh my gosh this thing is so slow it's kind of funny guys but uh let's take the sidewalk oh it's right here right here on the road here all right buddy drop the weapon campus police here usla police drop your weapon drop your weapon shots fired shots fired suspects on the ground don't move don't move police, drop your weapon drop your weapon drop your sorry, weapon get on the ground for me you are under arrest. Wow. I'm impressed. This actually went very good. The victim's running away over there. Attention but uh, we are code 4. Alright, I just confiscated his weapon, which is awesome. 
Let's follow me over here, buddy. Jeremy, you are going to jail today after I call some real police. No, I'm just kidding. I'm a real police officer. But uh, we're going to call for a transport unit to come pick you up in just a second. Dispatch, I need the transport unit over here, please. Alright. We have a Los Santos police van pulling up right here. They're going to pick him up and take him to jail. So, uh, yeah. This episode is turning out to be pretty awesome. So let's see what else we can get into today. Hopefully uh, this guy doesn't run me over. But, uh, or this check right here. Oh my gosh. Excuse me, guys. Police coming through. I, I just kind of want to observe which way these guys go. Ah, uh, there we go. Whoa, whoa, what the hell happened there? What is going on? Where is this guy going? Where is he? He's back in the road. Oh my gosh, he just ran over all those people. He's right on the sidewalk. Let me attempt to... Oh, he's running, he's running. Where's he going? Where are you going, buddy? You are under arrest. Yeah, that's right. Let me get my taser out. On the ground, buddy. On the ground. Don't move. Don't move. Where are you going? You're under arrest. No. Why Why did you kill him? Why? Oh, he had a gun. He had a weapon. Oh, my gosh. What the hell? This is craziness. All right. Let's call for uh, EMS really quick. Let's see if they can revive him. Alright, buddy. We are good here. You can, you can leave now. Alright, we do have paramedics here. They're gonna try and revive this guy. This police officer is really pissed. Just because he hit him, I guess. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. You wanna leave? Your uh, Jeremy's waiting for you in the car there. He's not listening to us. I wonder what will happen if this guy gets revived. If that police officer will start shooting him again. <laughs> that would be interesting. It looks like he's deceased though. Alright, so we'll call for a uh, coroner to come over and pick up his body. All units, code four. Alright, let's call for coroner. Dispatch, I need the corner to my location. Alright, the paramedics are gonna leave now. Corner is coming on scene. And uh, we should be done here. His name was Mark Gilmore. He's deceased. Cause of death. Uh, pistol to a spine. Gunshot wound. Pretty cool. Alright, so we do have corner coming on scene. This police officer will apparently take care of him for now. He's gonna observe the situation here. But we'll uh, head back on patrol and see what else we can get into today. This campus is very nice guys, very detailed. I love all the action that's around here and it's just beautiful but uh, yeah let's see what else we can uh, come across today. Just got a call for a person carrying a knife and it's right around this campus area. Uh, let's head over there and check it out. We have to locate and arrest them, okay. Excuse me lady, coming through. <laughs> Alright, so it's gonna be, there is a search area right there, it's right outside of the campus. Excuse me guys, we have an emergency here. Let's light up the siren actually. So they know we're coming, but uh, I'm not sure who I'm looking for. Looks like they just left the campus area. Right. Oh, I see a guy. I see a guy. He's right here. All right, buddy. Police. We've got 
Alright, I got Richmond. my stun gun ready just in case. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Don't move, buddy. Don't move. Don't move. You're under arrest. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright, let me get my freaking actual weapon now. This guy is not listening to us. Get on the ground. On the ground. On the ground, dude. Drop the uh, drop the knife. Drop the knife. Shot him right in the chest. Look at him. He's finally complying with our command. Had to get shot first, apparently. There we go. Chris Wiseman. You weren't so wise, were you? Alright, come over here. Come over to my golf cart. Or should I say my police cruiser. <laughs> Check out that sick Ferrari right there, guys. All black. Ah, I love that car. And it sounds nice, too. Maybe I'll move my golf cart so you, go you guys can hear it. Alright, have a seat for me. We're going to call for a transport unit. Because obviously I can't transport him, uh, transport him myself. Let me move my golf cart so these guys can get by. They almost hit my golf cart. Alright, you guys are free to go. Alright, we have a transport unit. Oh, listen. Oh, why'd you stop? Get around me. Alright, so uh, this officer is going to pick up Mr. Wiseman. And uh, let's see if we can hear this Ferrari go by us. I uh, can't really hear it, but... Uh, <laughs> nice. Alright, let's head back to the campus area and see what else we can uh, come across today. We just got a call for a suspicious person right around the campus area here. We're gonna go and investigate really quick. See what the deal is. It's right outside the campus area. Or it seems to be a female. Alright, we're gonna approach her and uh, make a stop and see what's going on. Hello, ma'am. Can I talk to you for a moment? Stop whatever the hell you're doing! Ma'am? Can you stop? Thank you. Alright, what's going on today? Somebody called in for a suspicious person. So, uh, let's, uh, let's ask for identification. Alright, Chloe Sock. Let's, uh, look her up really quick, see what she's been up to. Chloe Sock. Ooh, she's wanted by the sheriff department. So, uh, we're gonna place her under arrest. Ma'am, there is a warrant out for your arrest. So, uh, let's take her in custody. That was great work. There we go. Have a seat for me. We're gonna call for a uh, Los Santos transport unit to come pick her up. I don't know what she was doing, but somebody called in uh, saying that she was uh, acting suspicious. But now she'll be going to jail. We have our transport unit right here. They're gonna pick her up. And uh, yeah, we'll be done here. We'll see what else we can get into today. Oh gosh, we got a call for a solicitation. That's interesting. Be advised, suspect has black hair, is wearing black bra, black underwear, and purple boots. Okay, that's a very nice description there. Uh, let's uh, take a shortcut. They're on the other side of the campus here. Excuse me, guys. We have a solicitation that's in progress. Police officer coming through. Alright, here we go. Excuse me, ma'am. Suspect saying got a problem. There she is. She's wearing all black clothing like they said. And purple boots. 
Alright, what's going on today, ma'am? You can't be wearing this out in public. Can we talk to her? She's not really listening to us. Let's uh, take her into custody right now. Alright, Laura Smith, come over here, please. We're gonna call for a unit to come get you and uh, transport you and get you processed and everything like that. Have a seat for me, please. We're gonna call for a transport unit. Unbelievable. I can't believe she would solicit over here at the college campus. That's so wrong on so many levels. I don't know what this dude is doing. But uh, we do have a transport unit in route and uh, we're just gonna wait for him to get here and we'll be code 4 here's our transport unit they're gonna pick up Laura Smith and we are all set here let's get out of here Alright, we just got a call for a sus uh, suspicious, I guess. Oh, wow, oh my gosh. Goddamn street racers. Wow. Oh, freaking believable. We got a call for an abandoned motor vehicle. Not gonna go after those street racers. There's no way I'll catch, catch up to them anyways. But uh, we do have a call here for an ab abandoned motor vehicle. So we're gonna go check it out. Oh my gosh, these street racers again. You know what? Let me try and get them this time. Get out of the car. Out of the car, dude. Stop. Police. Get on the ground. This chick is flipping him off. I think they were racing together. Get on the ground. You two, get off your motorcycle. Both of you on the ground. Getting arrested for street racing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so funny. I almost let them go. And they came around, still street racing, and literally hit my golf cart. And uh, this guy over here just flipped his car. So uh, let's place him in cuffs as well. And who's this? Michael Town? Eloisa oh, Martinez? On, Come over here, guys. On freaking believable. Freaking street racers. All right. Have a seat for me, please. Have a seat for me. We're gonna call for a multi-transport unit. Come get them. Assistance needed for a suspect placed under arrest. And while we're waiting, let's do a quick search on their vehicles. Let's see if you had anything illegal here. And we're also gonna call for a tow truck. Found nothing of interest. We have a unit here. Just came here to uh, pick him up. We're gonna call for a tow truck. Get these vehicles out of here. We'll do a quick search on the bike as well. See if she was hiding anything here. Found nothing of interest. We're gonna call for a tow truck for this thing as well. All right, let me move my golf cart just so these people can uh, get around and uh, we can have the traffic start flowing again here's our box truck here to pick up a motorcycle perfect and let's investigate this car I never got around to doing that let's see if, it, if uh, there's anything suspicious in the vehicle found nothing of interest here we're still waiting for a tow truck for this vehicle but uh, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with this Jeep. Somebody just left it here, so we're gonna call call for a tow truck to come get it. And uh, we should be all set here. We are waiting for two tow trucks for both vehicles. And once they come over, we'll be done here. Oh my gosh, the transport unit is going crazy over there. Here's one tow truck here to pick up the street racer's car, Michael Town. His car is being uh, impounded right now for street racing. 
Yeah, we do have another tow truck arriving on scene to come pick up this Jeep. And we'll be code four. All right, so the Jeep's been picked up and we are all set here. All right, guys, so I'm gonna end today's episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was pretty exciting, lots of calls around the campus area. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos like this one here. And make sure to check out the group, guys. It's called uh, the Facebook group. It's called Iggy's GTA Lounge. And like I said, I will be featuring your in-game screenshots that are that I think are the best. So uh, make sure to uh, post some screenshots on there, and I will give you guys a shout out. So, but thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.